Percocet Productions, and today we're going to be ranking all of the Red Dead Redemption 2 camps from worst to best. We basically have seven camps. We're counting all of them from the beginning in the prologue through to the end of the game. The end of the game. And I'm Jason. And I'm Ethan. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go with my number seven, which is Guarma. I forget what the name of the actual camp was. Uh, La, uh, La Capilla or something. La Capilla. The Ca El Capitel. Um, yeah, honestly, I think this camp if you even want to call it a camp i was very hindered by like being in guarma which is very lame and no one actually wanted to be there so um if we're being honest guarma like uh, you know the camp wasn't bad per se like aesthetically but you were very limited what you could do in guarma and um there wasn't much to do other than like pursue the main story you know you had to get out of there so um yeah guarma was pretty lame to me all right so uh my worst one i said was actually lake um okay you don't really get to like be in lake for long because you come back from gorma and you know they're gone already like everybody's basically gone ran away so it's almost like you just come to a dead camp you know you don't get to really soak it up before the heist and then when you come back it's just poop here you are and then oh they found us we gotta go again so i really just feel like it wasn't fleshed out for what it could have been right so that's why i ended up putting it in the very bottom spot yeah i i definitely can see that like didn't really have a lot like you're there and then you're gone like mm -hmm. it's two seconds you're there but um yeah my number six is actually coulter um doesn't actually yeah it doesn't feel like a camp um yeah. at all um and you're there for all of like you're there for the um what's it called the tutorial stage basically and you can't again you can't do much here you you the story is very uh restricted at this point and you're just getting through this is the boring part of the game i hate to say it but it, it is the more boring part of the game so and it's depressing you're in the snow there's not much there it's not really a place you want to be um camp wise right and you know i 100 percent agree it's just very like dreary and sad and you know it's just not it's it's just not a good camp no it's basically just a hideout and that's really all supposed to be yeah yeah no definitely it, yeah it was a hideout um number five i have lake the one that you mentioned yeah. earlier you're there and then you're gone gone with the wind um the first three that we've mentioned i wouldn't really consider them camps like i mean they are camps don't get me wrong but like they're not true camps like right um the other ones that will come up here uh lake it was a very like broken down time in the game you're just getting everybody back together. Sadie, of course, like, you know, carried the group through. And um, you're here for a cup of coffee, you know. And right. um, you're gone instantly. I do like the setting being, like, kind of the only swamp camp in the game, really. But um, it doesn't last. There's not, there's really nothing here. Nothing here. It's not pretty. There's gators. Eh. Mm, that's about it. That's all you get. Yeah. Uh, For my number five, I actually said Beaver's Hollow. And that might be a hot take. Wow. But I personally never really liked Beaver's Hollow. I didn't like the layout of it. Um, I honestly also just feel like you knew the end was coming. And you know, that it was the same thing for like my chapters, you know, like, yeah, I it was like the nitty gritty stuff. I wasn't as much of a fan of because it was like, yep, you know, it's coming and you just kind of got to mm -hmm. rip the bandaid off. But like, you know, I, I really didn't want to rip the bandaid off. <laughs> right. You know, I, I, I didn't really like the camp much other than that because you already know it's in shambles a lot of the like people that you knew are gone now and i just i don't know i just feel like it was you know you could tell it was the end and the camp reflected it it was very like dreary and sad yeah definitely was um it's my number four uh beaver's hollow actually um i do like that you're tucked away like you're basically near this cave and you're like tucked away kind of in the woods um right. so you can't really be messed with a lot um it's kind of nice that it's the only one that's super tucked away like that really hidden in like a crevice um but yeah, like you said, I mean, when when Molly O'Shea gets like spoilers, spoilers. When Molly O'Shea gets shot here, dude, it's like, damn, this is it. <laughs> this yeah, is that it. that's really like the beginning of the end. You know, this you know it. that it's coming. And I do really quickly want to point out, um, I love how there are graves near the camps where people died. Um, you know, 
you have oh, yeah. like Sean's grave and Lenny and Jose's grave. They you can find the graves all scattered throughout the map. I think that's that's a really neat touch. Uh, really great attention to detail there that most mm -hmm. games wouldn't put in. But yeah, Beaver Hollow, you got nothing here at this point in the game, and um, it's you know the end is coming. Right. Yeah. I, see, I agree. Yeah, I just wasn't much of a fan of it. Number four for me, I actually said uh, Gorma's Camp. Look. Capital or however you pronounce it. What the hell? I see. I think the re the reason I put it up here is because I really like the aesthetic of the camp. I really did. Wow. I thought the camp looked really cool. I wasn't much of a fan of Gorma. I'll admit it. But the camp was pretty neat. I liked the camp setup. I liked the way it looked. It, it got a little bit more love for me because of the fact that it was just you know, and that's really the only reason it's up here this high. My Beaver's Hollow and the Capital can probably be flipped. I mean, I mean they're about the same par. I just put it a little higher because it was still kind of like a decent time. Hey, how's it going, guys? You know, Arthur wasn't dead yet, but he was dying, but he wasn't like, he wasn't in one foot in the grave yet, you know? Yeah. So it was a little bit of a better yeah. experience. I, I don't think Gorma is like awful. Like, I still don't think it's awful gameplay, you know? I think it's right. not as good as the other stuff, but I still don't think it's awful. No, um, I agree. So top three, Um, actually, we have the same top three, so... We'll see how That's this good. goes. Uh, number three for me is Clemens Point. Oh, okay. I like being on the water. I like being right by the water. Um, it's not as pretty as the other camps, but hey, this is one of the more cheery points in the game. Uh, when you know you think you don't think that everything's done yet. You know, there's still a lot of hope. Um, there's still a lot you can do at this point. Arthur's not dying yet, and yeah, you know, all throughout the game you're on the run. This camp is right in between, like, uh, it's right, like, right there. It's basically the Rhodes camp, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you're basically right outside Rhodes. You're in between Rhodes, and you also have, like, so much of the map that you can just kind of explore from here. You're not in the San, San Denis point of the game yet, but you can still go up to Valentine. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think this camp was really good. I think this camp was really, really good. Okay, you see, I do kind of agree with that. I, I did really like the way it looked. Um, I'll talk about that one in a little bit. Uh, from my number three, I actually said Shady Bell. Um, wow. I really, really, really like the aesthetic of Shady Bell. I like like the swamp area. I like the house. I like the camp layout. I I really, really loved it. And honestly, I debated on putting it like first because I love the way it looked. But I mean, these other two camps that I have, which you've already touched on one, is I mean they're they're beautiful you know mm -hmm. and times are great shady bells when things are kind of getting a little little downish you know it's starting to get a little bleaker right so it's not quite as it's not quite as fun as it was yeah definitely i i can definitely see that um and that's actually my number two shady bell i think i, I yeah i debated putting this camp at number one too i think the aesthetic is just so it, it's not a true camp right you have the house but i think that's what makes it maybe the best aesthetic um because right. it's basically a fortress you know um and it leads to it, it it features some of the best scenes in the the game you know storming it and then also when it gets stormed um right it's fantastic gameplay because you got the trenches you got like you got all this area right and it's like you got the trenches you got the little like little obstacles in the way and then you got the house and you know breaking into the house and storming the house oh my god it's so good so good um and yeah, I, I definitely love Shady Bell. It's maybe not the prettiest, but it's definitely one of the real great aesthetics of the game. It completely fits the area, this old rundown house. And that's basically your camp. Right in between San Denise and uh, Rhodes too. You got two of the best uh, towns right there. You just cross the bridge right into uh, San Denise and there you go. Right. Uh, my number two was actually Clemens Point right um i did really like clement's point i liked the area i liked the way the camp looked it was a really beautiful area beautiful camp things are still kind of good i mean you know like there's no real issues you know you just had to leave the other camp and it wasn't like you were you knew things were going to end badly you know like there were there like you said there really was still hope and it felt good things felt great everything felt nice you know you had no real issues and i just think that it was a really aesthetically pleasing camp and the location was like perfect to almost explore the whole map mm -hmm. 
I mean, it was a little harder to get over to, like, Valentine and stuff now because, like, you had to kind of go up and around the water. Yeah. But it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was still better than, you know, being jammed way up in a corner somewhere or, you know, anything like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. And, yeah, number one. Um, same number one. Horseshoe Overlook. It's so good. Um literally it's so freaking good right outside valentine and you you're right like in this perfect spot it's an overlook right so you got this like field and then this river um flowing down um past it and then you just pull up there and you're just in just this beautiful spot where you can pretty much reach anywhere in the entire map like honestly i wouldn't blame people if they just like got to chapter two and then stopped progressing the main story and just like played with this camp forever you have everybody, literally everybody. Um, it, yeah, the best camp. Um, easily. I, I don't know how any other camp really compares um, because it's in such a great spot. You have so much of the world that you can explore. And um, Valentine, of course, is one of the best towns in the game, right? So you're right there. And you also can go up to Strawberry, right? And Strawberry is right there, too. Um, yeah. And it's just like the most pretty area you can go fishing uh in that river and um yeah it's one of the best the best town can it is combo it really is it is a beautiful town or not be but like a beautiful area things are great you know like you found the new place and you're starting to really like find your footing it, it was a great time for that camp it was it was absolutely perfect and i love the camp and that's why i had to put it at one i mean this is the camp that you really started your journey on. Yeah. And it was the best by far. Yeah. But nonetheless, that is our ranking of the camps. Let us know what you guys thought. Um, we'll be sure to reply to every comment that we can, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you liked what you saw, leave us a like and a subscription.